वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर इनाम की पूजा सुरेश सतगुरु कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर मिरज गांव डिपार्टमेंट सॉयल साइंस एंड एग्रीकल्चरल केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक एंजाइम सो व्हाट इज मीन बाय एंजाइम एंजाइम आर कॉम्प्लेक्स केमिकल दैट कंट्रोल रिएक्शन इन लिविंग सेल्स दे आर बायोकेमिकल कैटालिस्ट स्पीडिंग अप रिएक्शन that would otherwise happen to slowly so what is an enzyme so in case of enzyme as a simple or combined protein acting as a specific catalyst so the catalyst of biological system then remarkable molecular device that determine the pattern of chemical reaction and catalytic power and specificity and mainly protein but ribosome rna what are the characteristics of enzyme so higher efficiency milder condition greater reaction specificity capacity of regulation so that is the characteristics of enzyme enzyme it is the main or important play role in uh, reaction that is the acts as a catalyst in any biochemical reaction so factor influencing enzyme activity which factors are responsible for enzyme activity uh influencing the enzyme activity first one factor is the ph second one is the temperature third one is the concentration of enzyme and fourth one is the substrate then in case of enzyme so enzyme in a bio biochemical or biological catalyst typical are very large protein permit reaction to go at condition that the body can tolerate can process millions of molecules every second so are very specific react with one or only a few type of molecules that is called the substrate enzyme what are the nomenclature of enzyme namely in, is easily compared to other compound compounds name is based on what is react with how it reacts and add as ending so example lactates adding the ase lays as in ending enzyme that react with lactose pyruvate decarboxylate remove carboxyl from pyruvate so that is the enzyme nom nomenclature so what are the nomenclature they are seen in the different examples in this chart so naming enzymes and what are the substrate or reaction type type so enzyme maltase after reacting the substrate is from malto uh, from sub enzyme is from maltase enzyme is from uh, maltase to maltose urease urease from urea protease from protein carbohydrate from carbohydrate lipase from lip lipid hydrolase from hydrolytic reaction deaminase removing amine and dehydrogenase removing hydrogen the chemical nature of enzyme enzyme are globular protein they have a complex tertiary and quaternary structure in which polypeptides are folded around each other to form a rough spherical and globular shape the overall 3d shape of an enzyme molecule is very important if it is altered the enzyme cannot behind bind in uh, bind to it substrate and so cannot function enzyme shape is maintained by hydrogen bond and ionic force so enzyme have a several important properties first one enzyme are specific each enzyme usual usually catalyze only one reaction means only one enzyme are involving in this first reaction so after completing this reaction product are form Uh, again the this enzyme with the help of this en uh, product is formed this enzyme uh, again they are involving in the another one reaction so that's why uh, that is mean by uh, the enzyme is not lost after um, lost by completing the reaction so this enzyme are used again and again in a various uh, reaction 
so enzyme combine with their substrate to form temporary enzyme substrate complex so these after enzyme are combined with substrate and then enzyme substrate is com uh, complex is formed so this complex is temporary because after again the reaction is conducted in this process or reaction so this enzyme substrate complex are again break, break down and uh, this substrate are converted into products so enzyme product complex are formed after product are formed this product are separated enzymes are separate separated so this separating enzyme they are free enzyme they are called the free enzyme this free enzyme again they are reverse in the another one reaction so enzyme are not altered to use or used up by the reaction they catalyze so can be used again and again uh, enzyme are sensitively sensitive to temperature and ph many enzymes need cofactor in order to function enzyme function may be slowed down or stopped by inhibitors uh, so what are the classification of enzyme uh, so classification of enzymes are based on the types of reaction on the basis of type of reaction they have classified into six part so first one is the oxido reductase that is mean by catalyze a redox reaction then in case of transferase that is the transfer of functional group hydrolase cause hydrolysis reaction lyase break co cc and cn bond that is mean by carbon oxygen bond carbon carbon bond and carbon nitrogen bond then in case of isomerase rearrange the functional group and ligase join two molecules so that is the classification of enzyme on the basis of types of reaction then in case of first classification oxido reductase so in case of oxido reductase catalyst redox reaction some common type types reductase dehydrogenase oxidase and oxygenase look for involvement of coenzyme nad nadp fad and fam F, fmn so these are the cofactors they are involving in this oxido reductase process so second one is the transferase transfer of functional group some example transferase phosphorylase uh, phosphorylase transfer the pi or ppi so in case of kinase a uh, phosphate transfer utilize or generate atp so that is the transferase then in case of hydrolysis hydrolysis reaction water molecule used to break the bond an example phosphatase peptides and atps and gtps then lyases catalyze reaction that generate a double bond add a substrate molecule to double bond of second substrate example is decarboxylase dehydrate and aldose then isomerase conversion of one isomeric form into another for example isomerase imperase racemase and mutase then ligases two molecules are joined anabolic reaction required nucleotide which are the nucleotide atp and gtp adenosine triphosphate guanine triphosphate so two derived drive team them uh, phosphor phos pyrophosphate bond must be broken example carboxylase and synthetase so what are the mechanism of enzyme action so enzyme having a mechanized with the help of three parts first one mechanism is mitchell's mantan hypothesis second one is the features lock and key model and third one is the intermolecular fit concept means with the help of these three uh, mechanism how to enzyme activity they are carried out into into the biochemical reaction so one by one we have discussed first one is the mitchell's mantan hypothesis so in this mitchell's mantan hypothesis uh, so linor mitchell's and mand mantan in 1913 while studying the hydrolysis of sucrose catalyzed by the enzyme invertase proposed a theory so this both scientists they have discovering this hypothesis so they have using the one enzyme molecule one substrate molecule and then with the help of these two molecules uh, then this this theory are proposed with the help of with the help of this 
component these scientists are proposed the this theory so what are the actual uh, content in this theory so first one is the only single substrate and single product are involved second one is the process proceed essentially to complete so in this mechanism only one sing single substrate are involving the so single substrate is involving only single product are form or involving in this mechanism or hypothesis so second one the process proceed essentially to completion so this reaction is complete complete ne necessary so third one is that the concentration of substrate is much greater than that the enzyme in this system so concentration of substrate is much greater than the enzyme in their present into the system then fourth one assumption in this theory and uh, intermediate enzyme substrate complex is formed means enzyme are react with the substrate then enzyme substrate complex is formed in this theory and uh, last one fifth part the rate of decomposition of the substrate is proportional to the concentration of enzyme substrate complex so that are the assumptions of the hypothesis or the assumptions of this theory with the help of this five assumptions this theory or this hypothesis is depend so they are one diagrammatically show in this uh, slide e plus es is equal to es and is equal to ep so in case of e means e is denoted from enzyme s is denoted the substrate e S means enzyme substrate complex and EP means enzyme product complex. Means enzyme are react you know, with the help of substrate. This substrate is already present into this reaction. Then this enzyme are react with this substrate and enzyme substrate complex is formed. And again they are react enzyme substrate complex. It is a very weak bond bonding to each other in this complex. So this enzyme substrate complex is easily break down and then they are converted into enzyme product means substrate are converted into product and enzyme substrate uh, enzyme product complex are formed after compounding the uh, enzyme product complex then enzymes are separated and product are separated you take this product and uh, remaining the free enzyme this free enzyme are again they are involving in the reverse in this reaction and involving in the another one reaction so uh, uh, repeatedly these pre enzyme you have used again and again so that is the first um, uh, mechanism of enzyme action so how to enzyme are act into the biochemical reaction so first hypothesis mitchell's maintain hypothesis then in case of seeing this figure uh, the active site so in case of this active site the blue color is denoted the enzyme and uh, the black uh, is denoted the substrate uh, so enzyme uh, and substrate they are react with each other and substrate is attract uh, in uh, into the uh, enzyme uh, so in case of their binding site they are shown in this uh, enzyme or in this slide so hold substrate in this place so this enzyme uh, attract this substrate substrate is attracted to the enzyme and uh, this substrate is fixed into this enzyme and uh, this uh, enzyme are hold this substrate in this place and catal this uh, uh, place is called the catalytic site or active site where reaction is occur at the time of reaction this catalytic site is shown and the uh, substrate is attract in into the enzyme and uh, they are fixed into this enzyme and enzyme substrate after fixing to the enzyme and their enzyme substrate complex is formed then enzyme substrate complex first step all these steps are equilibrium so enzyme and substrate com combine to form the complex enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex they are shown in this diagrammatically shown in this slide so see in this blue color is denoted the enzyme and black color is denoted to the substrate so uh, substrate they are attracting to the uh, enzyme and then attached to this 
or fit into this enzyme and enzyme substrate complex is formed after him this reaction is the reversible reactions then enzyme product complex so in case of this enzyme product complex step 2 the enzyme product complex is formed es is equal to irreversible ep so seen in this slide enzyme substrate complex they are reacting then they are converting into the transition state means this uh, two substrate is binding to each other this transition state are separated and the this substrate they are converted into product they are shown in this slide then third one step in case of product the enzyme and product are separated so enzyme product complex they are breakdowning enzyme are separated and product are separated so shown in this figure so enzyme product complex after reacting this reaction is the reversible reaction so this enzyme are totally separated and product are totally separated enzyme is ready to ready for the another one substrate reacting means enzyme are ready to involving another one reaction and product is made so that is the step number third means means in this mechanism three steps are followed first steps enzyme substrate comp enzymes are react with substrate enzyme substrate or complex is formed second number step enzyme substrate they are converted into enzyme product complex with the help of with the help of transition site state so that is the step number third uh, enzyme product complex they are converted into enzyme and product means enzyme are separated product are separated they are shown in this slide so in case of what are the active site means the enzyme they having a one active site the, with the, this active site the substrate are attracted and they are fixed into this active site enzyme and then one enzyme substrate complex is formed so shown in this uh, figure they are uh, presented there diagrammatically explained it so first one is the enzyme they are denoted the green color and this um, shown in this active side so enzyme is react with substrate so substrate for example like amino acids then this enzyme substrate they are react with each other and enzyme substrate complex is formed then second number step enzyme substrate complex they are internal rearrangement leading to catalyst means transition state are formed with with the help of h2 bond means two amino acid they are uh, linked to each other with the help of h2 bond and uh, these bond are break down uh, in case of enzyme substrate complex and these enzyme substrate complex they are converted into enzyme uh, enzyme product complex and this transition state this bond are break down and enzymes and uh, products are separated so they are shown in this third number a peptide bond in case of this amino acid having a peptide bond so these enzyme are again separated and product are separated again these enzyme are involving in another one reaction so second one important uh, theory that is the lock and key theory so as early as 19 1890 features suggested that enzyme specific implied the presence of complementary structure features between enzyme and substrate a substrate might fit into the com complementary site on the enzyme as a key fit into a lock enzyme is locked and substrate is the key so this theory is uh, totally depend upon the uh, lock and key similar uh, structure like a lock and key lock means enzyme and the key means substrate they are denoted in this theory so what are the actual lock and key theory so they are shown in this slide so enzyme is a lock so they are denoted in the orange color and uh, substrate is the key they are denoted in the purple color so substrate structure must fit into the enzyme structure so this structure is similar like a lock and key so after this key is fit into the lock the enzyme complex enzyme enzyme substrate complex is formed so this structure is called as the lock and key model so 
थर्ड वन इम्पॉर्टंट मेकॅनिझम इंटरमोलेक्युलर फिट थेरी इन नाईन्टीन फिफ्टी एट कोशलँड इन हीज इंड्युस्ड फिट थेरी सजेस्टेड दॅट दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ सबस्टेट मे बी कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी टू दॅट ऑफ ॲक्टिव्ह साईट इन द एन्झाईम सबस्टेट कॉम्प्लेक्स बट नॉट इन द फ्री एन्झाईम द एन्झाईम सबस्टेट युनियन डिपेंड ऑन अ रेसिप्रोकल फिट बिट्वीन मोलॅक्युलर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एन्झाईम अँड सबस्टेट देन इन केस ऑफ एंटरमोलेक्युलर फिट थेरी कन्फर्मेशनल चार चार चेंज टेक प्लेस इन द एन्झाईम ड्युरिंग द बायंडिंग ऑफ सबस्टेट विच रिझल्ट इन द रिक्वायर्ड मॅचिंग ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स द इंड्युस्ड फिट थेरी इसेन्शियली रिक्वायर्ड द ॲक्टिव्ह साईट टू बी फ्लॉपी अँड द सबस्टेट टू बी रिजिड ऑलोविंग द एन्झाईम टू रॅप इट सेल्फ अराउंड द सबस्टेट इन धिस वे ब्रिंगिंग टुगेदर द करस्पॉन्डिंग कॅटालिटिक साईट अँड रिॲक्टिंग ग्रुप सो दॅट इज द इंटरमोलेक्युलर फिट थेरी सो दिस इंटरमोलेक्युलर फिट थेरी ऑर ऑल्सो दे आर कॉल द इंटरमोलेक्युलर फिट कन्सेप्ट दीज आर द टोटली डिपेंड अपॉन दी आणा प्रिवियस टू कन्सेप्ट दॅट इज मीन बाय मिचलस मेंटेन हायपोथिसिस अँड सेकंड वन इज द लॉक अँड की मॉडेल सो दॅट इज द मेकॅनिझम ऑफ एन्झाईम ॲक्शन सो दॅट इज द इंड्युस्ड फिट थेरी दे आर सिमिलर ॲज पर दी लॉक अँड की मॉडेल ॲक्टिव्ह साईट मे नॉट बी फिट सबस्टेट साईट मस्ट चेंज इन ऑर्डर टू द फॉर्म कॉम्प्लेक्स सो दॅट इज द इंड्युस्ड फिट मॉडेल देन द ॲक्टिव्ह साईट द सबस्टेट फिट द ॲक्टिव्ह साईट so in case of induced the theory means they are only the with the help uh, the this concept is depending the they are changing uh, through the uh, change so active site may not be fit and uh, site must change in order to form the complex so they are shown in this figure substrate fits with active site so that is the substrate and red and uh, yellow color denoted the active site this active site is fixed into the substrate that is the functional enzyme then the active site so enzyme are typically hug proteins eight only a small part are actually involved in the reaction so The active site has a two basic components, catalytic site and binding site. Then active, enzyme active site, the relatively small region where the substrate bind and catalysis takes place is called the active site. For example, human carbonic anhydrase. They are the structure of uh, or uh, active site of the enzyme. They are shown in this slide. Then in case of this active site the general characteristics the active site takes place a relatively small part of the total volume of the enzyme the active site is a three dimensional uh, left a uh, cleft or a uh, survive water is usually excluded unless it is a reactant substrate bind to enzyme by multiple weak attraction so in case of this attraction electrostatic interaction hydrogen bonds hydrophobic interaction so then specificity of binding depend on the precious pattern arrangement of atoms in a space so what are the properties of enzyme uh, so first one property important property uh, is the colloidal nature so in case of colloidal nature on account of large molecule possess extremely low rate of diffusion from the colloidal system in a water so second one important property high molecular weight enzyme molecules are gain size so the molecular weight range from 13000 to 1 million then catalytic property the enzyme acts as a catalytic and is accelerated the rate of chemical reaction occurring in a plant and animal tissue means the how many amount of enzyme are uh, react and activated in the reaction so that is the catalyte catalytic power or uh, in case of accelerated the rate of chemical reaction means enzyme are work fastly or uh, they are actively active in uh, the reaction is very fast so uh, in case of 
a rate of chemical reaction, reaction is increased means enzyme activity is increased automatically rate of chemical reaction is increased means chemical rate of chemical reaction is depending upon the activity of enzyme so that is the catalytic power property then fourth one is the catalytic power of enzyme the catalytic power of enzyme is measured by the turnover number which is defined as the number of substrate molecule convert into product per unit time when the enzyme is fully saturated and substrate means catalytic power means a uh, power of enzyme means the these enzyme are how many time they are including in the reaction means they are completing reaction enzyme substrate they are formed the enzyme product means product is formed the in free enzymes are again they are involving in the another one reactions this turnover the how many amount there uh, how many numbers they are turning over in the chemical reactions so this power is called the catalytic power of enzyme then heat sensitivity the enzymes are very sensitive to heat the rate of an enzyme action increase with rise in temperature so enzyme are very sensitive to heat because the rate of enzyme action is increasing with rise in temperature temperature is rise automatically enzyme activity is increase temperature is high enzyme activity is decreased then sixth one specificity of enzyme action enzyme are very specific uh, each enzyme will catalyze only one type of reaction and often will only work with a specific substrate so urease has a no effect on other compound compounds such absolute specificity specificity is rather rare among enzymes then enzyme classes in case of absolute specificity second uh, in case of absolute specificity only react with a single substrate group specificity work with similar molecule with the same functional group then third one is the linkage specific catalyst a specific com combination of bond and fourth one is the stereochemical specific only will work with the proper d annual means dextro rotatory and levo rotatory form and seventh one property reversibility of reaction the enzymes are capable to bring up about reversion in the chemical reaction the digestive enzyme catalyst the hydrolytic reaction with a reversible lipase which catalyzes the synthesis of fat from glycerol and fatty acids can also hydrolyze them into their component unit for example like a tripalmatin they are react with water molecule then they are from the glycerol and palmitic acid are formed so that is the reversibility of reaction then at one is the enzyme inhibition the compound which convert the enzyme into inactive substance and thus adversely alter the rate of enzymatically catalyzed reaction are called as a inhibitor such a process known as the in process known as the enzyme inhibition two general types of inhibition first one is the competitive inhibition and second one is the non competitive inhibition and last one properties of en enzyme is the water soluble so these enzymes are water insoluble because without uh, enzymes are not soluble in water so they are not uh, involved in the chemical reaction so all enzymes are water soluble in nature so thank you so much